Nurse? Yes, Dr. Culver? Uh, I had an emergency call. Where can I find the patient? What's the patient's name? She didn't give one. She told my nurse she was bleeding and would meet me at the ER. I'm sure she's here by now. I'm sorry, doctor. I don't know anything about it. wonder if this was a, a hoax. Why would somebody do something like that? I don't know. I wonder if it was uh, that crazy woman, Beth Wallace. Who's that? Suffice it to say, if I ever see her or her friend, they'll both be exceedingly sorry. The police haven't received any emergency calls either, Dr. Culver. The idea that I was called down here on, on a wild goose chase is maddening. All right, I'm going to head on home. Well, as long as you're here, will you take a quick look at a uh, hit-and-run victim that was just brought in? Another doctor has already examined her, but she's trying to get pregnant, and she's afraid that the accident might have affected her chances. Since you're an OBGYN, it might reassure her if you looked at her. Where's the chart? Thank you, doctor. I'm sure you can answer any questions she has. Is this a good time? Uh, yes. Um, Mother, uh, I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Another doctor just came in. Hi, uh, uh, the nurse told me you'd be stopping by, but another doctor already examined me. Oh, I know, I know, but the nurse said you had some anxiety because you've been trying to get pregnant. I'm an OBGYN. Oh, um, well, yes, actually. My husband and I uh, want to have a, a child very much, and, and I'm afraid that maybe this accident might have hurt our chances. Well, the results of your x-rays and initial lab work didn't indicate any problem. But just to make sure, I'll give you a quick examination, if you don't mind. No, not at all. Lie back, please. Just relax. You have had a baby, and relatively recently. Um, yeah, my daughter, she was born prematurely, and, um, and she didn't make it. I'm sorry. That's why it's just, it's really important that I get pregnant again soon. I understand. I mean, of course, you know, having another baby could never, ever replace my Sarah, but I really want to give my husband another child. Well, physically, I don't see any reason why you can't. Physically, you seem to be in fine shape. Well, that's a relief. Thank you very much, Doctor. <laughs> Always happy to offer good news to a patient. I'd give anything if I were pregnant again right now. So refreshing to meet someone so loving and so maternal. I wish all my patients were like you. But they're not? Some. Certainly not all. I had one patient recently who, for God only knows what reason, was, was faking her pregnancy. Faking? I'm convinced she was. I, I can't believe that. Oh, this, <laughs> this woman was a real crackpot. <laughs> And if I ever see her again, I'll have some hard questions to ask her. And I'll want answers. You're telling me that a woman actually faked her pregnancy? <laughs> That's right. That is awful. I mean, to lie about being pregnant when you're not is disgusting. No, I couldn't agree more. Children are so precious. God, I would give anything to have my Sarah back. Unfortunately, not all women have your maternal instinct. Yeah, even so. To lie, I mean, how'd she do it? I won't bore you with the details, but if I ever see this patient again, or her friend, they'll both get a piece of my mind. Let's not waste any more time on them, okay? They're not worth it. What's important now is to take care of you. Well, as long as I can get pregnant again, that is all that matters. You know, as I said, physically, you seem perfectly fine. You know what? Let me just go have another look at your latest lab work. Okay. Thank you, Doc. Sure.